intelligencesquared.com. Being American and talking about politics and all, I sort of feel that the theme of tonight's program should be intelligence halved. Um, <laughs> uh, 30 years ago, the economist Milton Friedman, in his book, Free to Choose, uh, it showed uh, why government is so expensive. Um, because Freeman explained that there were logically considered, there are only four ways to spend money. Now, way number one is you spending your money on yourself. Now, when you spend your money on yourself, you get, as nearly as you can, exactly what you want, and you bargain as hard as you can for it. Way number two is when you're spending your money on someone else. Now, you still bargain hard, but you're not quite as concerned about getting exactly what's wanted. Although I'm sure my wife is very fond of the Yugo I got for her and the kids. <laughs> Way number three is you spend someone else's money on yourself. Way number four, you're not involved at all. It's not your money, and nothing is in it for you spending other people's money on other people. So it might as well be billions spent on crap, or as the US government called it, cash for clunkers. You know? <laughs> and way number four is the way that all government spending is done. You know, politicians work themselves into a lather proving the benefit of this government spending. And using political logic, I can prove, I can prove anything. I can prove that shooting convenience store clerks stimulates the economy. <laughs> Jobs are created in America's high-paying domestic manufacturing sector at gun and ammunition factories. Uh, uh, additional emergency medical technicians, security guards, healthcare providers, and undertakers are hired. The unemployment rate is lowered as job seekers fill new openings on convenience store night shifts. And money stolen from convenience store cash registers stimulates the economy where stimulus is most needed in low-income neighborhoods where the people who shoot convenience store clerks go to buy their crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, true freedom, true power, and true responsibility are actually individual matters. And, and the greatest source of, of our individual freedom, our individual power, and our individual responsibility is in our economic system. Uh, economic freedom is the freedom we exercise most often and to the greatest extent. Uh, freedom of speech is important. If you have anything to say, I checked on the internet, nobody does. Um, <laughs> freedom of belief is important if you, if, if you believe in anything. I, I've watched reality TV, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> Freedom of assembly is important if you have an assembly to go to the way we do, but most people go shopping. You know, and, and, and while they're shopping, they're exercising economic freedom. How would politicians be able to make things fair? How would they be able to make things fair all the way? And you know, this actually may be a valid concern, but I am immune to it. I am immune to it because I have a 12-year-old daughter. It's not fair. That's all I hear. It's not fair. It's not fair. All my friends have an iPad. You let my little sister do this. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. And one day I just snapped and I said to her, honey, you're cute. That's not fair. You're smart. That's not fair. Your family's pretty well off. That's not fair. You were born in the United States of America. That's not fair. Darling, you had better get down on your knees and pray to God that things don't get fair for you. Um, has there ever been a generation, a society, a civilization more determined to evade responsibility? And the answer is probably yes. I mean, ancient Romans sliced open animals, rummaged around their kidneys and livers, trying to divine, divine fate and, and, and avoid owning up to the consequences of empire and toga parties, you know. The Greeks were forever running off to hear the irresponsible babble of the Oracle of Delphi, the David Frost of her age, you know. I mean, uh, maybe the Egyptians had an opera barge on the Nile where deceased pharaohs could fall to pieces and promise to become better mummies, you know. I mean, uh, nonetheless, the 60s generation has an impressive record of blame shifting, duty shirking, unaccountability, and refusal to admit guilt, or better, to readily confess to every kind of guilt and then announce that we have moved on. You know? 
gigantic generational not my fault project has been undertaken with heroic amounts of time, effort, and money devoted to, to psychology, psychotherapy, sociology, sociopaths, social work, social sciences, science, chemistry, the brain, brain chemistry, serotonin uptake re-inhibitors, inhibition, sex, sex therapy, talk therapy, talk radio, talk radio personalities, personality disorders, drugs, drug addictions, uh, internet addiction, uh, economics, central banks, the EU, IQ, DNA, evolution, abortion, divorce, liposuction, Tony Blair, and diagnosis of attention deficit disorder in small boys. You know? <laughs> I mean, government is a Rottweiler ready to be unleashed on your problems, and you've stuffed raw meat down the front of your pants. <laughs> You know, because, you know, coalition government is just inconceivable in America. I mean, it, it, it would violate the shipping company rule of do not pack the dog with the cat, would be one thing. <laughs> and besides, we only have two parties. We only have two parties, and we had a coalition government. We, we would be left with no one to hate but ourselves, you know, and so that just wouldn't work. Conservatism of any kind, uh, or, or per perhaps, you know, I, I should say, to this audience, I should say, you know, classical liberalism. Uh, what we in the United States call libertarianism. Uh, and I consider myself to be a libertarian, somewhat conservative bent, because I have children and don't want them to do the things that I did. Um, uh, or at least I don't want it to be legal. <laughs> um, not that it was legal when I did them, but I mean, you know what I mean. Um, but the, uh, 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 it's not an easy sell. It's not an easy sell. You're basically getting up on a stump as a politician and you're saying, I can give you less. You know, whatever it is that you want from government, I can give you less of it. In fact, in, in some cases, I can give you none whatsoever, you know? <laughs> I mean, imagine the kind of truth-telling that goes into the ideal libertarian classical liberal candidate, who would be a person who would, would get up on the stump and say, no, I can't fix public education. I can't fix, I can't fix state schools, as you would say. Uh, I, the problem's not overcrowding, the problem's not overfunding, the problem's not teachers' unions or, or lack of a computer equipment in, the, in a classroom. The problem is your damn kids, you know? <laughs> That's hard to do, you know? You know, it's kind of an interesting comparison between um, um, America and, 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 and Europe. In America, uh, as so often is the case, things come from the bottom up uh, rather than the top down. You know, and there's a sense, not so much here in this country, in fact, really not here, uh, because we, we are kindred systems. But there is a sense in, among, in continental Europe and in most of the free and democratic places of the world that freedom has been granted to people. And we say no. We allow certain representatives of us to have a certain amount of power over us for the sake of good order and good sense and, 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 and so on, and defense and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, uh, we, we've always had our freedom. We give a little bit of it away to make our society work, where a lot of people around the world feel you know, their freedom was granted to them, so they get the top down, so you get the Sarkozy's, you know? Um, so, I, yeah, I, I'm not, uh, I don't find the, the Tea Party particularly disturbing. That's not to say individual members of it aren't, you know, barking mad, you know, I mean, of course they are.